All right, here I go again, modifying a crate to make it match my kayak. So this kayak has a tapered uh, back deck. So what I'm going to do is make a kayak crate. Actually, I think I cut too much. <laughs> That's all right. I got plenty more to play with. Um, actually, I can make it like this and use this space over here for putting the rods. So actually, it worked out okay. Maybe I should grab a couple of zip ties and see what it does. I'll be back. All right. You take a kayak, a regular kayak, and you cut a piece out of it like this. And now I've got a crate that fits right between the bungees. I'll put a hook here and a hook in the back. And use a little room for storage back here. I could put a rod holder right here too, just to cover that seam. Actually, I could just put one rod holder there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I could, well, normally, I put the rod holders on the inside, but like that. But there you go. Like I said, you don't have to. You don't have to worry about what you're recesses are shaped like cut the freaking crate to match it well it's a little after 10 p.m. but I am uh, marking out the bottom for my crate I like to put fiberglass bottoms in my crate just so stuff doesn't fall out I'll bring it back after I cut it I'm just going to cut it with a knife. I'm going to uh, score it with a utility knife and snap it. I think I got the measurements right. If not, eh, it'll be close enough. Well, it's not perfect, but it's a bottom. I forgot that I made the bottom part kind of curve <laughs> because I measured from up here so I got the straight so yeah, that one's a little off but no biggie I'll probably cut a new one out of cutting board make it a little nicer shoot maybe I'll make a cutting board top out of it maybe a cutting board top for it but, and here's my rod holders I haven't decided whether I'm putting them on the inside or on the outside. If I put them on the inside, there'll be more room here for like storing stuff. Sorry, it's after 10 o'clock at night, so I just wanted some stuff to do. Anyway, this is where I'm at. And I was also thinking about putting one, just putting one here in the front just to kind of cover the seam. Shoot, maybe I could use that one for an umbrella, for a camera holder or something. I've got those two tall ones over there. Uh, but they go to that kayak. Anyway, this is where I'm at. Alright, last night it got a little late and I was a little tired, but... Uh, did the crate. I think I need to move this up a little higher. Don't let your kayak tippy. dictate whether or not you can have a crate. Let your crate dictate how it's going to fit in your kayak. I just cut a triangle piece out of the crate. Actually, there's the piece I cut out. This went in here. So I just cut a little wedge out of it, squeezed it together, zip tied it, put some little. I mean, I could have done a better cut, but come on, it's a fishing crate. 
Got a little storage space up here for a small cooler or a couple of tackle boxes. Not tackle boxes, what do you call those little trays that you put your tackle in? And that's how you make a crate fit your kayak. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and send me a dollar. Send me a dollar. Come on. Be the first.